What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited because today the battle phase started in the War of Thrones. So I'm going to discover that with you during the video. I haven't clicked yet on the War of Thrones. So let's discover it. I'm only a soldier now. So I can enter. I successfully entered, okay. We have some promotions to the right. And these are the players in my um, on my map, I guess. And what is that thing? It wasn't designed like that in the past. Uh, I mean, it was looking like a real continent, a real map. But then it's in the stars. Okay, so why not? So you have the merit chest. I already have something. I have some tickets. So I have to fight against players. Okay, maybe it does mean that someone tried to attack me, right? Yes, I have a defense and I got six points. And this is the merit points I had. So let's check. Only one attempt. And this is what he used. Oh, man. Yeah, no, no. It can't work. It can't work. You can't use that hero versus that team. But that that was a good idea to try to beat me using both Nazil and Nicolas. Because if you only freeze me with Nazil, if I play before your Nicolas, I'm going to be able to cleanse thanks to the passive of Sun Wukong. But if you perma freeze me thanks to both Nazil and Nicolas, then I will never be able to play. And you have some turn meta. So it was smart to try to use that. But sadly, it didn't work. So I have to tr attack someone, so you have the players everywhere on the map. Winning streak 9, winning streak 15, but I have only 8 tickets. Uh, or does it count with the defense? And so I am 15, non-promotion. Okay, maybe, yeah, you have the top one, Pasta Magic 9003. That's a great name. Where is he on the map? Can I click on him? No. Okay, that's him, so let's fight against the best one. I am ranked 2207. I wonder how much points do I get to... Okay, you can zoom in and zoom out. Okay, that's the thing I was seeing before. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in a bit. That's cool, the interface looks cool. And you have the rankings, vacant for all. And the ultimate division, you have trial division, master division, and ultimate divisions. So in fact, it's divided depending on the server you are situated in. And that's cool. So you are not going to face the Krakens of the top 1 to top 20 or 30 servers. And depending on your zone, that's cool. That's cool. So I'm going to fight against the top Krakens in the game, probably. But there, it's completely random. So I can fight versus, um, versus good or bad players. Uh, so you have the lineup and do we have some experience somewhere to get a better title? I think I have to, I I'm going to do a fight and we are going to see. So let's challenge that guy and I'm forced to use the first team I, I, I set up with the buff I chose to use. So normally I should be able to beat that. Is it auto or is it going to be manual? Wait, what? <laughs> Man, is it serious? I lost my first my first fight versus Pasta Magic. Oh, shame on me! He has only Sun Wukong exclusive one. <laughs> oh damn! Maybe it's because of the buff I chose, or maybe he froze me and then I wasn't able to act. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the thing that is hard for me if I'm getting controlled. Oh, Jesus. I wasn't expecting that. Shame on me. You can make fun on me on the comment below. Oh, man. I'm not going to be the top one of my division. That's That sucks. <laughs> so let's check versus the second one. Uh, this is a mouth, 30, 35. Oh, Jesus. That's going to be hard to find him. So let's just fight versus random players. So, so there, normally, 100% uh, I'm going to win. I thought that it would be manual, though. That's not a content to me if you can't play it. This is not a, a way you t to play. I, I thought it would be manual. 
So that part of the gameplay sucks to me. This is not a gameplay. And there you have an Azeel. I'm not forced to attack him though. And he has so many things. He's gonna imprison me, freeze me. Uh, so maybe over time if I can resist that I'm gonna survive so let's try that but I'm not sure at all and I won the fight Okay, a uh, hidden player. Okay, I can't see the name of other players You have only a few that you can see and then you have to Attack being blind. Okay, that's a victory of course yeah, Poor guy. I am sorry. You have absolutely nothing to defend yourself versus me. Same comment there. This is clearly not balanced. Oh Jesus, this is not balanced. Look at the teams I am fighting against. Of course, I'm 100% sure to win that. Same comment. This is a new player. This is a new player. I'm an endgame player, one of the top 10, 15 maybe, and I'm facing a new player. What the hell? Okay, so I made all my battles. I'm top eight now because I lost my first my first fight. I should have used Paul inside, but it's gonna change at the end uh, of the event because we are gonna have other teams, and then I'm gonna have my Paul in another team. This is gonna change everything. But does that mean that my first team is always gonna have to fight against the first team in front of me and the second team, the second team in front, etc.? It sucks if it is if it's the case. That means one more time the content is gonna be completely random. So, uh, for now, I'm still a soldier. I think that I'm going to remain soldier until tomorrow. And tomorrow, the ranks, the titles are going to change depending on your merit points. I think this is the way it's going to work. Uh, is there something written uh, somewhere? Okay. Starts... Stars are shining up above the skies at night. Adventurers are gathered here to compete with each other in order to win the crowing glory. Crowning, yeah, the, the crown, yeah, of course, the crowing. What am I saying? Uh, the War of Thrones lasts for 14 days each season. The first day is for preparation. The fourth day is for display. And the rest are included in the battle phase. Yeah, but as I said, it's 100% auto and I don't like that. There is nothing to do, in fact. You just have to pick opponents to click on a battle and then everything is done automatically. I hate that. The battlefield has 10 tiers and one of them will be unlocked each day during the battle phase. Adventurers from the same tier will be matched and fight in the same room, which can contain up to 100 participants. Okay, why not? All the participants should start fighting from the soldier tier and the settlement will be made once each day. Okay, that's it. So I'm doing my fights today and tomorrow depending on my merits. I think I'm gonna uh, be uh, I'm gonna have a better title. According to the rankings of all participants from the same tier, those at the top will be promoted to a higher tier and those at the bottom will be demoted to a lower tier. As for participants in the middle, they will remain in the current tier. Oh, and I'm in the middle. Okay. I think I am. Let me check. If I de-zoom. Yes, I, I am in the middle. And what is that? Oh, that's me, that's me, okay, okay. The yellow is me and I'm in the middle but at, at the top. So maybe, uh, depending on your uh, ranking, on your title, you are placed uh, closer to the middle. I think it's gonna work that way. Uh, as for participants in the middle, they will remain on the current, current tier, okay? Participants need to set up five lineups, which will be used for both attacking and defending purposes. The lineups will be unlocked based on their tier. Okay, so maybe tomorrow I'm gonna have three uh, lineups directly. Battles will be fought automat automatically, yeah. Yeah, that sucks, man. Once participants select their opponents, it could have been better to have a skip option, at least as we have in the championship and the uh, fair arena, so players can do their fight in manual if they want to, or just keep the fight if they are confident enough, or if they just don't have time to do their battles. 
but it's not designed that way and I don't like that at all. Tell me what you think about that in the comment below, but I, I hope that if you also want to manual the file, they are going to accept uh, designing that in the future because doing things in, ma in, manu in auto all the time, this is not the way I want to play the game. Each lineup of both sides will challenge all lineups of the opponent in the order. The one who has more wins will have the final victory. And yes, lineups, uh, the lineup one is going to fight against the lineup one in front, the two versus the two. And yeah, this is, this is bad, a bad design in my opinion. So this is going to be random. This is going to be random. This is the old championship rules, in fact. And I hate that. I freaking hate that because it's adding some RNG to a game mode and let's be honest we love strategy in Infinite Magic Raid you 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 know everything about your heroes and this is how you are able to beat players in front some players are going to love that the fact is it's going to be orangey because they have more chance to win but some others are know everything about the heroes all heroes in the game and so they know how to beat specific teams and it's going to be it's not going to be doable there sadly so if you are a kraken if you have a great account if you have good strategies even if normally you would be able to beat someone with the RNG factor, you are not sure to win all the time and so you are not going to have the rank you deserve. This is how I see things. Tell me what you think about that in the comment below. All adventurers' information on the battlefield is initially hidden from others except from, for themselves and their guild members. So we can see our guild members. I didn't pay attention to that. Their information will be displayed to the challenger after they are challenged. Okay, so we have to beat them and then we ha we can have a look to their data. Adventurers cannot challenge adventurers with displayed information repeatedly. Winning streak is determined by the battle result, whether adventurers fight as the attack or defense side. Adventurers on a winning streak can obtain bonus points after winning a battle regardless of their side. Adventurers on a winning streak will be released from the hidden status to all participants in the same room. The adventurers winning streak status will be interrupted when they are defeated and bonus points will be awarded to the winner. So, I, if you uh, beat all the opponents 8 times because you have 8 tickets, you are going to have a big winning streak such as that guy has 16. He had one more because I lost versus his defense. And so, uh, if you beat him, then you are going to end his winning streak. And that's cool. That's cool. Uh, that's a good design, in my opinion. And then you have your battle buffs. Participants can select a battle buff for each of their lineups. The selected buffs will take effect during the battle in the War of Thrones. And this is probably why I lost as well. I'm going to check my lineups. But there, I have... A purple aura on that guy? Yeah, no, I have many auras in fact. I have a 5 star yellow aura on her, a combat vanguard. Or maybe I forgot to set up that. Oh Jesus. Can I change my lineup? No, of course I can. Oh man, you can change your lineups all the time? Oh, okay, th th that's good. So it does mean that I was, I would have been able to beat the other one just by changing my my lineups before battling versus him because when you enter a fight you can exceed the fight uh, I mean if you click on someone yeah, insufficient tickets if you click on someone it's opening the the um, battle screen interface and you can have a look to the lineup in front so you can uh, just go back change your lineup let me check successfully set okay so that's the way to go so you have to come back there to change your lineup and then it's going to work. So I'm not going to put that team. In fact, I'm going to put that because we are the first day. I want to have more winning streaks and I don't want them to control my heroes. So this is the team I am going to use. And what buff did I choose? Reduces all the lies damage deals by 75% but during the fight they are going to start doing more. And this is going to be important. I think this is the way I'm going to go. 
and I'm gonna save my lineups, my lineup here, and I'm gonna check my auras just in case, so I have many auras. Does that mean also that if I change the gear of my Norlak, I can have more stats or auras for that content, even if I already set up my lineups before? So let's check. Uh, this is my Nordak, okay? 2700 speed. Let's check if I change that in my account. So I'm just gonna remove one piece of gear, for example, um, that one. So he lost uh, 300 speed. So now let's go back to the content, War of Thrones, set up my lineups, and let's check my smart casting. Jesus, it works! So you can change absolutely everything during the, f the battle. So uh, that's more interesting than before in fact. So yes, of course, the fights are gonna be in auto, but the fact that you can change your lineups and the gear of your heroes during the battle, uh, during the event, that's gonna change many things to the strategy aspect. So in fact, it's not bad because remember that if you are gonna change your lineups, uh, for example, if I change that one, um, if, because I want to beat another hero. For example, they have a Sun Wukong, I want to beat the team with Sun Wukong, so I'm gonna use my popper speed team. And if I do that during uh, my battle, maybe others are gonna attack me on my popper speed team and they are gonna be able to beat me. So you have to be careful doing that, but it can, you can take that as an advantage to beat others. And look at that, apparently someone attacked me and I had another victory. Yeah, I think that they... Oh, I can't see because they... He uh, skipped the fight. And of course he did because probably he does not have the heroes to beat me. Can I see the profile? No, I can't. Okay, so I have a 7 winning streak and I'm top 5 for now. Don't worry, Pasta Magic, I'm gonna beat you tomorrow and I'm gonna be the top one of my division. So I think that in the future I'm gonna start working on my purple auras because they are easier to get than the legendary ones and it's gonna matter a lot for that content because remember that for every star you are gonna have on purple auras in the heroes deployed in the, in the battle, in the event, you are gonna have way more stats and this is gonna help you so much. Even if you have purple aura such as that one, you're gonna get 2% more attack, HP and defense on all heroes for every star you're gonna have on purple aura. So if you can't have only legendary auras, and of course you are not gonna be able to, then be sure that you have purple auras on all your heroes, even if it's only the, the easiest one to craft in fact. So if you have a look to that, I think, what what is the one that requires only one, runes 1, 2, and 3? That one is going to be the easiest one to get, so I encourage all the players to craft many of that one, because this is the easiest one to get on all the heroes, just to complete the, uh, the auras on your heroes for that content only, and so you are going to have crazy stats doing only that. And for the legendary auras, if you can do that, maybe it's going to be a waste for the other content, but for that content, a shield smash, no, this is not the one, the combat vanguard aura is the easiest one to craft. Runes number one, two, and three only, so if you can get many stars on that, on specific units that you are gonna also use in PvE, at least on five units, so you because you are gonna have five teams, it's gonna help you a lot just to get passively more HP, attack, and defense. So maybe in the future I'm gonna concentrate on doing that on my auras for that content only. So that was all for the video, I hope you enjoyed it, if it's the case don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, tell me what you think about the, com the content in the comment below, hope you enjoyed it, have a nice day and see you in the next one, bye bye.